guys, hi, I'm Tanya K, and welcome back to my channel. And today I wanted to kick off talking about how to get portrait shot clips into a YouTube timeline and make it look good. Now, YouTube is a wide format, um, so you're talking 16 by 9, so it's super wide. You're taking a portrait shot uh, footage, which you may have shot for your Instagram stories or Snapchat. Looks perfect there, but it just doesn't look good on YouTube. So you're wanting to use a portrait clip and extend it out, but you don't have the, the footage doesn't extend like that. You don't want to crop in. So you're going to put your portrait footage in and create a lovely soft background. Blurry soft background is what you're after. Um, some really easy steps to do. I'm going to show you on the computer. I use Headform 4 um, and this works on Premiere Pro. And I guess if you're using the steps, it will probably work in other and other software as well. So check it out. Recording. Okay, guys. So you want to open up a new hit a new uh, a new project in your software. Hit Form Four Express or Premiere Pro. Here we go. You have the, um, the timeline. You want to import import a new clip. Uh, I will show you how to rotate this as well. So here you have your clip. You want to import it into your timeline. And actually there's a couple of ways to get your clip onto your, a uh, couple of ways to get your clip onto your PC. I like to use Google Google Drive. So what I do is uh, from my mobile phone I'd upload to Google Drive and then download it onto the desktop. So then I'm importing it into Headform 4. Um, here I have it here and as you can see it is upside down so I'm going to decrease my size by 15% and I'm going to twist it around there we there we go um, then I'm going to hold shift and shift and I'll resize it to constrain the proportions there we go so now you have your clip, let's see, your video clip that is obviously not fitting in um, into the 16 by 9 timeline. So what you want to do is unlink the audio, so right click, uh, unlink, unlink the audio, then you want to copy the top file, so you right click, copy, uh, you go to the end of the timeline and you paste it, now you want to drag it on top of the other clip and you want to deselect it because we're going to work on the bottom clip. This is the clip you're going to want to blur so we're going to controls and transform. You're going to stretch it out. You're going to scale it probably to about 150%. Um, there we go. Now it's fitting the timeline. And now you want to add the effect a blur. So in blurs, you've got a blur, add the blur, and there we go, have a nice blur. Click on, on that one and let's click play. So there you have a nice effect, and you can actually see the cyclist going in and out of the other side. Show you that again. <laughs> That's it. Guys, it's really that simple. Um, do these steps, try these steps in your software to get the soft blurry background and drop me some comments. I'd love to try and help you out. Hope you liked the video. Hope you learned something. Um, hit the subscribe button. Of course, it really inspires me. If you're, if you're hitting the subscribe button, you're going to be getting more reviews on photography, social media and gear reviews. That's what I do here on my site. I'm trying to publish twice a week. Thank you.